welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to set a custom background for an Android dialog so you can create you can you can add your own background for a dialog using a separate layout file so the first step you need to do is to add a separate layout XML file in layout folder so here in this project I already add a separate XML file in the layout folder the file name is my dialog background okay so in this XML file I add three view components an image view and two edit text so the user can enter his username and password using these two edit text and at the top of the dialog there is an image using an image view so I set the SRC for the image view is a JPG image available on the drawable folder yeah this one is the image that I used, used with the image view that contain a simple uh, symbol text demo app this is a simple JPG image okay so you can see that image on the drawable folder I place that particular image on the drawable folder with the name dialog background dot JPG so for the image view I set the background at the drawable dialog background this is the image and also I set some layout parameters for the image view but height and set the scale type into center and here I set some background color for the image view so this is the HTML color code corresponding to some uh, smooth orange color okay and now below the image view I add two edit text first one is the edit text with the user with ID username and set the input type as text email address and set some layout parameters margin top left right and bottom also put an hint for the edit text and the username here and the second one is the second edit text is for entering some password so I put the input type as text password so if you change the input type of an edit text into text password the font family of that particular edit text is automatically changed into monospace so for getting the same appearance for the two edit text I set the font family into sans serif for the second edit text also here I set some layout parameters and finally I put an hint on the edit text enter your password here ok so now we have to create the dialog so for creating dialog you have to create a separate class file on the package so I create a new class here I name the class as my dialog ok and browse for the super class here I'm going to show an alert dialog using dialog fragment so and click finish ok now we go to a class that extends dialog fragment so for creating the dialog you need to override the method on create dialog so I override that particular method so now here we need to create a separate background layout for the dialog for that we need an object of layout inflator I name the object as inflator also we need an object of view class ok so first we have to initialize the inflator object so inflator equal to get activity dot get layout inflator ok now I am going to inflate that particular XML file in layout folder that particular file name is my dialog background so view object v equal to inflator dot use the method inflate first you have to provide the resource of the layout so r dot it is available on layout folder r dot layout dot 
my dialog background and we are not using any root element so use null instead of root ok so now I am going to create the alert dialog so we need the builder object so alert dialog dot builder I name the object as builder equal to new alert dialog dot use the constructor use this constructor and pass get activity for context for getting the context ok now for getting a background you have to use a method called set to view with the builder object so builder dot set to view and pass the view object so here I pass the view object now I am going to add a positive and negative button so set positive button and change the text of the button as OK and here you have to add some on click method for the button so new dialog interface dot on click listener and here you have to import some package import the needed packages now set a negative button put a text for the negative button cancel also add some layout also add some on click listener so new dialog interface dot on click listener and finally put a semicolon here so here I just create a builder object and using that builder object I set the background for the dialog using the set view method and here I add two buttons a positive button and a negative button finally we have to create the dialog using create method so return builder dot create ok now for showing this dialog on the main activity I add a button called login so here I add a on click method for the button called the login method so on main activity I already define that method called the login method ok so here I am going to create an object of our dialog class called the my dialog so my dialog I name the object as dialog equal to new my dialog ok now for showing the dialog you have to call the method called show method so dialog dot show and provide the support at fragment manager and also put a tag here my dialog okay okay now we complete the coding now we can test the application so select the project and click the run button and open your emulator now we got the project I click the login button now we got the dialog so the dialog contain three view components first one is a image view second one is edit text third one is another edit text and a positive button and a negative button and here is the image that appear at the center of the image view and here we got some background color it's an orange color ok so user can enter some text here and enter some password here and click ok button so we have to handle that one so go to my dialog so for getting the value from the edit text we need two objects of edit text user and pass ok so whenever user click the positive button this method will invoke so user equal to use the view object v dot find view by id or dot id dot username also pass equal to v dot find view by id or dot id dot password ok you need to cast it into corresponding class 
So here I'm going to sh show a message using the toast toast dot make text using get activity welcome you can get the username from the edit text user welcome user dot get to text dot to string also we have to show the password so I need a new line so put slash n and now here I'm going to show the password password equal to pass dot get text dot to string also make a duration for the toast toast dot make it into short and finally make the toast visible using show method what happens ok here you have to put a plus ok and finally make it into visible using show method ok now we can touch the application so I run the project again I click the button the dialog appear and I add a username Prabish and put a password password click the positive button welcome Prabish and my password is password guys this is how we add a custom background for a dialog in android i hope you enjoy this video please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates see you in the next part